Good afternoon uh, and welcome to the Electric Principle. Uh, today I'm in front of my house with my ID4 and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the semi-autonomous driving system that the VW ID4 has. So you've got really two parts to it. You know, you've got adaptive cruise control, which is kind of old-fashioned, but it keeps the distance between you and the car ahead of you. It'll break as you get closer to the car at a traffic light. Uh, but uh, when you move to travel assist, which is really Volkswagen's semi-autonomous driving system, uh, and semi-autonomous just means it's, it's, it does a lot for you, but not everything. Uh, but when you turn on the travel assist, well, what that does, it'll do everything that the adaptive cruise control does, but it adds in the fact that it locks you uh, in a path in the center of your lane. And as the road curves, uh, the car takes it uh, on its own, basically, with no input from you. Uh, so that's the biggest difference between uh, the two. Uh, and so what I'm going to do today is talk to you a little bit about both those systems. Uh, I'm going to show you how to turn them on in the car. Uh, and then I'll actually take it down uh, College Avenue in Fort Collins, have the system operating, and show you exactly how it works. Now, it doesn't do everything. You know, it's not going to take turns for you. It's not going to take a left turn. Uh, it's not going to... Uh, detect a car that cuts you off like two feet in front of you. It's semi-autonomous. You, you still need to use your brain. You still need to be active in controlling the car. But boy, is it a great safety feature. And you know, I really believe that people would use it regularly would reduce accidents greatly. Uh, and I think that it gives you kind of a peace of mind when you're driving because if you do make a mistake, uh, the uh, system will help you out. It will keep you safe. It'll get you to your destination. So uh, here we go. I'm going to go back into the car here and show you some of the controls. So let's talk about active cruise control or adaptive cruise control and uh, travel assist. So I've got uh, several buttons up here uh, that make this system work. If I push this button right here, it is going to deactivate the entire system. If I push it again, then I'm ready to roll. And uh, what I need to do is decide what do I want? Do I want travel assist or do I want um, you know, the adaptive cruise control? And so in this mode, to choose between the two, I simply push on the little, little icon down here. And I, what, if I push it once, it's travel assist. If I push it again, it's ACC. Uh, and so right now we're going to set it at travel assist and then we're going to make sure the distance is correct and I'm going to do that by pressing the center button here and you can see the screen there's a little green uh, line up here up in the corner here and you want that as far as you can make it uh, because you want to give your car plenty of time to stop for a car ahead of it so that's my recommendation and now we're set to drive so we're driving down College Avenue here, and I'm going to turn on my travel assist right now, and it is on. I just had to set the set button because it was preset. Now the car is going to drive itself. I tend to be on the left side all the time. Uh, this always pulls me back to the center. My kids always told me I drove on the left. I never believed them until I started driving this. Now I'm touching the wheel here just to uh, keep, keep in contact because if you take your hands off the wheel, with this it's going to start to uh, make some noise to let you know that, that they don't want you doing that and uh, if you continue to have your hands off the wheel it's going to create problems now travel assist is not going to stop at a red light for you i mean it only detects a car ahead of it and that's how the system works so we're starting again i see a car pull up ahead of me I can see that appear on my screen here that it's detecting it, you know, and we've got travel assist set to go here. Uh, but now the car is going to slow down. I'm not using the brake it, because we're getting too close to the car ahead of us. So it's starting to slow down on its own and it's keeping me dead center. I don't have to correct this at all. It's very much self correct It's not like the old Subarus that would ping pong back and forth uh, when you were using their system. Uh, and, and you had to keep your eyes open uh, 
and on that system because it just didn't feel right. You know, you're going back and forth. This thing is perfectly in the center. Brakes are going on. I am not touching the brakes right now. Uh, I keep having to touch the wheel just so that the wheel does it now. We haven't stopped for very long. The car stopped itself, but now it's going to accelerate because we hadn't stopped for more than three seconds. So now the car, without me touching the, the uh, accelerator, is accelerating. Now notice this curve coming up. It's a slight curve in the road here, and this thing will correct and track, and now it's a slight curve to the left. And this is all aut semi-autonomous. I am not putting any input in to this car in, uh, of any appreciable kind. Now I'm gonna let the wheel go again so you can see we're taking a set of curves. And you can imagine if it can handle traffic like this, think of what it's like when you're doing 85 miles an hour uh, down the freeway. It's perfect. You know, it, it kind of works in the background. It doesn't feel overly aggressive. Um, you feel like you have control of the car, but it's a good secondary system. And now we're gonna come up to uh, uh, some uh, uh, tail lights here coming up and the car is going to stop itself. So in a nutshell, that is travel assist. Now, uh, for a couple seconds here, we're going to switch to adaptive cruise control. Remember, adaptive cruise control simply keeps the distance between you and the car ahead of you, but it doesn't steer. So if I touch this, and I'm going to turn it off now, uh, uh, and we're going to get going here just a little bit and I'm going to choose uh, simply ACC. I can set that same type of thing, but you know, it's going left to right here. I mean, it's, it's not self-correcting the steering and that is the biggest difference between the two. It does not self-correct on the steering, uh, but it will keep you from crashing into the car ahead of you. And when the car slows down ahead of you, the car will, uh, your car will slow down as well. So. Hey, thanks for watching this little video um, with, with me. I appreciate you uh, joining our channel.